Good evening. My name is Pastor Charles Williams from Yahweh Apostolic Ministries. And we're going to do a teaching on the truth about Christmas. I'm going to give you ten reasons why I do not celebrate Christmas. Well, it's that time of year again. You'll soon be barraged by the sight and sounds and smells of Christmas. Shoppers will soon go into a spending spree, and when the bills arrive, they'll wonder if it was all worth it. The first reason why I do not celebrate Christmas. Christmas is driven by commercialism. Here's a good question. Why should we participate any longer in a charade where the focal point of worship has shifted from a babe in a manger to a babe in a clothing store window? Or no room in the inn has been replaced by no room in the mall parking lot. The second reason. Christmas is nowhere mentioned in the Bible. The books of the New Testament cover 30 plus years of Yahweh HaMashiach's life and another 30 plus years of the early church following his death, burial, and resurrection. Nowhere do we find any hint of Christmas celebration or anything remotely like it. Yes, now, the Bible does give us a few details of his birth, but nowhere in the Bible is there any record of anyone observing Christmas or any hint that Yahweh expects us to do so. The third reason. Yahweh HaMashiach was not born one or near the 25th of December. December weather around Bethlehem is often miserably cold, wet, and rainy. No shepherd in his right mind would have kept his flock outside at night at that time of the year. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 4 tells that Yahweh HaMashiach was born in Bethlehem because his parents came to the town to register in the Roman census. The Romans were well known for being highly efficient administrators. This would have made no sense to have conducted a census in the dead of winter, when temperatures often dropped below freezing and travel was difficult due to the, the poor road conditions. Taking a census under such conditions would have been self-defeating. The fourth reason. The Christmas holiday is largely a recycled pagan celebration. You can read it for yourself in any encyclopedia. Consider the customs associated with the Christmas holiday. Look at decorated evergreens, hollies, mistletoes, yule logs, a jolly plump man in a fur-lined red suit, Slaves and flying reindeers have to do with the birth of Yahweh HaMashiach. None of these have anything to do with him, but they have a lot to do with ancient pagan festivals. Now, it's difficult to determine the first time anyone celebrated December 25th as Christmas. And historians generally agree there was sometime during the 4th century, some 300 years after Yahweh HaMashiach's death. And then a contrived date was chosen because it was already a popular pagan holiday celebrating the birth of the sun god. Similarly, virtually all the customs associated with Christmas are recycled from ancient pagan festivals honoring other gods. The fifth reason. Yahweh condemns using pagan customs to worship him. 
Since Christmas is supposedly a day to worship and celebrate Yahweh HaMashiach, wouldn't it be a good idea to look into the Bible to see what it says about how we should worship him? The answer is quite clear. Yahweh gives specific instructions about using pagan practices to worship him. The exact thing Christmas does. Notice what he says in Deuteronomy chapter 12, verses 30 through 32. Take heed to thyself, that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise, that thou shalt not do so unto Yahweh thy Elohim, for every abomination to Yahweh have they done unto their gods. For even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. What things soever I command you, observe to do it, that thou shalt not add thereunto, nor diminish from it. And for those of you who think this is simply an Old Testament commandment that no longer applies, the Apostle Paul made the same point in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, where he addresses whether un Biblical religious customs and practices have any place in the worship of Yahweh's people. Let's take a look at 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18. And that says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Yahweh HaMashiach with Biel. Well, what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? For ye are the temple of the living Elohim. As Yahweh hath said, I will dwell with them and walk in them. And I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith Yahweh, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith Yahweh Almighty. Also, let's look at Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh. Now, rather than relabeling pagan customs as believers or allowing members of the church to continue their old pagan practices, the Apostle Paul told them in no uncertain terms to leave behind the these forms of Worship and worship Yahweh in true holiness as he commands. Yahweh HaMashiach likewise says his true followers must worship him in spirit and in truth, not revel in the recycled pagan custom and symbolism. The sixth reason Christmas is worshiping Yahweh in vain. Since Christmas is a jumble of ancient pagan customs invented by men, a holiday found nowhere in the Bible, does Yahweh honor or accept such worship? Yahweh HaMashiach provides the answer in a stern rebuke of the religious teachers of his day, men who have substituted human traditions and teachings of Yahweh's divine truths and commands. He said, Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, hypocrites. In vain they worship me, teaching us doctrines and commandments of men. All too well you reject the commandment of Yahweh, that you may keep your tradition. In the 17th century, Christmas was actually outlawed in England and some parts of the American colonies because of its unbiblical and pagan origin. They knew something most people today have forgotten. 
or have never known. The seventh reason. You can't put Yahweh HaMashiach back into something that he was never in. Some people admit that there are many problems with Christmas. But rather than face up to those problems, some people assert that we should put Yahweh HaMashiach back into Christmas. But this is totally impossible. It's totally impossible to put Yahweh HaMashiach back into Christmas since he was never in the Christmas in the first place. He never so much as heard of the word Christmas during his lifetime on earth, nor did the apostles after him. You can search the Bible from cover to cover. You won't find the word Christmas, Christmas tree, mistletoe, holly, Santa Claus, or flying reindeer. Putting Yahweh HaMashiach back into Christmas may sound like a nice sentiment, but it's really only a misguided effort to try to justify a long-standing human tradition rather than what the Bible tells us we should do. The eighth reason. The Bible nowhere tells us to observe the holiday celebrating Yahweh HaMashiach's birth but it clearly does tell us to commemorate his death. As I said earlier, the Bible nowhere mentions Christmas or tells us to celebrate Yahweh HaMashiach's birth. This is not to say that the Bible doesn't tell us to commemorate a highly significant event in Yahweh HaMashiach's life or in ours. It does. But the event is his death rather than his birth. The ninth reason. Christmas obscures Yahweh's plan for mankind. A central key to Yahweh's plan for humanity is his sacrificial death on our behalf. He is the lamb slain from the foundations of the world, meaning his death for our sins was planned for before the first humans were ever created. Only through his death to pay for the penalty of our sin can human beings receive Yahweh's gift of eternal life. Christmas, in contrast, teaches none of this. Regrettably, because of all the unbiblical customs and beliefs thrown together with a few elements of biblical truth, it only obscures the incredible purpose of Yahweh HaMashiach's coming, as well as why he must return the second time. The tenth reason. I'd rather celebrate the holy days Yahweh HaMashiach and the apostles observed. Yahweh in his word set out many choices for us. We'll do things his way or our own. We'll worship him as he tells us to, or expect him to honor whatever religious practices we choose, regardless of what his word says. It's always a good question to ask, what will Yahweh HaMashiach do? answer from the scriptures is quite clear what Yahweh HaMashiach would do. Yahweh HaMashiach did not allow the followers opinion of the adopting pagan practices in their worship. He and the apostles plainly kept Yahweh's holy days and festivals that we see recorded in Leviticus chapter 23. Christmas is totally missing from the biblical record. Most people don't know that the Bible includes a whole list of festivals that Yahweh commanded, that Yahweh HaMashiach himself observed, and the apostles and the early church were keeping 
decades after Yahweh HaMashiach's death and resurrection. And unlike Christmas, these reveal a great deal about Yahweh HaMashiach's role and mission. Each one teaches a vital lesson what Yahweh HaMashiach has done, is doing, and will yet do in carrying out Yahweh's great plan for mankind. The difference between these and the old paganism and crass commercialism of Christmas is truly the difference between night and day. Why not look into them for yourself? Now, I've given you my top 10 reasons for not celebrating Christmas. What do you suppose Yahweh thinks of your reason for continuing to observe it? You have watched the video made by Yahweh Apostolic Ministries. If you would like more info on a topic discussed in a video, or have any questions, then visit our website at yahweh-apostolic-ministries.org. You can contact us by calling us at 215-206-6687 or 713-494-2164. You may also contact us by email yahweh-somariayahoo.com to keep up to date with our latest teachings, videos, and announcements, and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash yahwasomani, subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash yahwasomani, and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash yahwasomani. Thank you for watching this video.